this is a goat pen that I end up building. It's 20 feet wide by 30 feet long, and I use 5 foot high horse fence, and uh, this gate, I bought a prefab gate from Home Depot, put it together, and I put these 4 by 4 posts at each corner, uh, pressure treated wood I used, and then every 10 feet I put in a steel post there and the mesh just goes to the ground. I didn't bury it any deeper than the ground. And I also put a doghouse in there. My dog doesn't like it. You can hear the goats. And the little pen enclosure where they sleep at night. Well on the gate I keep a little latch on here. So hopefully predator can't get in. And now my dog is sleeping outside, so he keeps a watch on him. And then inside the enclosure, it's about uh, 10 foot long by 8 foot wide. And I use horse fence across the front. And then I got these aluminum panels at Home Depot. And they're about, I think they're three panels high. And then I left plenty of ventilation at the top, and I just use chicken wire. On these support posts, I use electrical conduit, two-inch electrical conduit, and then these special three-way tees I had to order. They're like five bucks a piece, and I used galvanized um, aluminum roof on top. I put a whole bunch of screws along the edges. And um, so at night, I locked them up in here. And this, I bought a prefab gate here. This also has one of these little locks. So at night, they come in here. And there's a little supplement block. Just for me to hay. And I threw this blanket over this little table that I had laying around. Actually, it was a plastic storage shelf. I put some plywood on top. And they love to sleep underneath there at night. They crawl under there and they're snug as a bug in a rug. There's their water. I use cement board on across the front there. I don't know why. Should have just got regular plywood. But also inside you'll see a steel stake in the middle. And uh, I just screwed it. You can see these special screws. They're designed for the corrugated. I just screwed those right into that uh, electrical conduit. And there's one of those special three-way T's. I don't know what you call them. So we got plenty of ventilation across the top, and yet the wind won't bother them during the day. Oops. I always hit my head on that horse fence right there. There's their leashes when I take them for a walk. And for these support posts in the middle, I just use a regular ABS T for that one. So that pipe is ten foot or eight foot ten foot long. I'm gonna cut it down a little bit. And then across the back I think it's ten foot. I just used eight foot four by four pressure treated posts. I sunk them down three feet. Or actually Yeah. Actually, I think I only put them down two feet because I got them got real hard, and I just use a 90-pound sack of concrete for the 4x4 support posts. And nobody's come in yet. Nobody's been able to get in, even before I had the dog. So it's nice. I feel nice and secure. And um, that's it.